Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Do you like apples? Do you like apples, Phoebe? Yeah, I like the juicy bit. Yeah, I like apples. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get an apple, like this. Chloe, this is an apple. She's looking good. What? We're going to make an apple pie inside an apple with a bit of toffee sauce and a cheeky raisin kit. You're going to love it, so uh, let's get on with it. How do you like them apples? Right? Right? Yeah, they're going to bed. Okay, amazing. So if you want to make these, these are all the ingredients you need. So hit pause on the video when I click my fingers now. Uh, write them all down. And these are what we've got here. Four Granny Smith apples. Nice, you know, crunchy, bite into it. Oh, oh yeah. It's going to taste good. And two apples from a tree, if you can. I haven't got an apple tree, but my neighbour does. So I just nipped over and pinched two. But she was okay with that. So they're good. We're actually going to skin them and actually just get a bit of backup apple in there to help fill it more. We're gonna make up for the core because we ain't gonna eat the core bit. So it's a bit of a delicate stage first of all, then we'll chuck in some other bits. So here comes the art and crafty bit. Okay, so we've got a lot of apples going on here. So the big apple-y chunky ones from the tree, we don't need to worry about that. Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't know, I don't wanna think about that. All I'm gonna do is peel them and cut them up. You do not need me to show you that stage, you can put them into one side. And then the, three, uh, the four apples, one, two, three, four. Yes, that is four, not three. We'll take three of them away and I'll show you how to do it with just this sole apple. Granny Smith 4139 if you're interested. Yeah, let's uh, do this bit. Okay, so I guess the first stage should be uh, just take off the uh, sticker and I think I'll put that on my nose, which you'll see in a bit. Okay, now grab yourself a really super sharp knife and what you wanna do is cut in a nice flush straight line through that apple to sort of twist it, keep it level, the apple, as you cut it through like this, you wanna get it nice and flat. Wow, that's cool and that knife is so sharp, Whoa, my finger could have come off. This bit here, cha-ching, can go away, lush. Okay, so we have got our flat edge like this, and what I've done, you'll probably see I've gone around the apple with my knife like so, it could be a little bit uh, tidy up there, but I'm a very untidy person. And what I've also done is gone across around the core like that to form a square around it with my knife, only halfway down, and then what I'm going to do now is just get a little teaspoon and just start to dig it out before we work it with an ice cream scoop, baby! Yeah! Yeah, so if you haven't got an ice cream scoop, don't worry about it, just use a spoon for the whole time. But I'm just going to like core out little pieces like this. Boom, it's gonna be quite slow. There's probably faster ways of doing it, but this is the way I wanna do it. Little squares at a time like that, into a glass bowl like this. So do that to all four of your apples. And remember that your core bit, you don't want that, my friend, okay? So keep going, yeah. Okay, so my first apple has been cored like that. I just wanna show you, I've been scratching it away like this, just working it with my spoon <laughs> around the sides, and the apple falls off into the bowl like that. That is what you're after. And the Granny Smith is kind of like a butch apple. It's full of flavor, but this, it's strong, my friends. Come out of that story with the three pigs, the hail and the bricks and all that. This would be the brick version, okay? Other apples, maybe a golden delicious, would crumble under such pressure. But this one stands strong. So I'm going to do my other apples, and I'll see you in a bit. Put all your apple bits in there. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I've done all four of my apples, all nice and cored, like so. And I've got my apple chunks, plus the apple tree apples, boodong, straight in that bowl there. I found some more stickers as well. What I've got here is some brown sugar, white sugar, oop, put my finger in it, and some cinnamon. I'm going to chuck that in there with it. You can actually add as much or as little as a cinnamon as you like. There's a little thing called the cinnamon challenge that I did before Ashley Day. If you're watching me, I can't believe you did that today. And in honour of him doing that, I'm going to do it after this bit of this section of the video. What we want to do is grab ourselves a spoon like this and uh, stir this all through. Get the sugary-ness all coated on there in a minute. We'll get the raisins in with it as well. This is going to be amazing. Stir. Okay, that's all stirred in. The apples have gone all funky and tinted with that whole cinnamon and brown sugar. Boom! Straight on them like that. Ow! I am loving that. So I've got here a tablespoon of raisins. I'm just going to plonk them in as well. You don't have to do that, but I love that whole combination of apple and raisins, my loves. So uh, let's uh, stir it all through as well. Mix it all in. You notice that the apples are different sized chunks, okay? Doesn't matter. You can have them nice and fine. You could even stew the apple if you want to get it like, sort of mushy. Um, or you can just leave the apples in massive chunks. You know, you could put an apple inside an apple. That wouldn't work, don't do that. Uh, yeah, keep stirring through, get this all mingled in. Don't get the apple on the floor like I just did. And um, we're gonna put it in the apples now. The other apples, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make a really funky toffee sauce. So into this pan, we're gonna get a brown sugar, just pour that straight in. Butter, and this, my friends, is a plate of treacle and golden syrup. Kind of looks like a sort of sunrise. It's two tablespoons of treacle and one tablespoon of golden syrup. So it's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna push this in, like so, it's gonna slide it in. 
Oh yeah. You see that? Okay, so that treacle golden syrup combination is in there. And last but not least, 100 mils of double cream. Pour that all in there. Oh my goodness. What we're gonna do now is bring that over that low heat up to a boil and that will form a beautiful toffee sauce. Yeah, so we're just stirring this together. The butter's melted. It will not take very long at all to boil. The minute it gets there, get ready to pour it on your apples, baby. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see that, but my toffee sauce has just literally finished boiling. So be very, 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 very careful at this step. Be warned, you do not want to have bare foot like I do. So I do it carefully, slowly, and pour it over your apples and raisins. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that sauce is all in there. Give it a darn good stir through carefully. Get it all nice and coated and then let it cool just for a couple of minutes. We've got some pastry cutting stuff to do, my friend. And then we're nearly there, I promise. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the pastry now. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to pastry. I uh, bought the pre-rolled stuff, the short crust pastry roll sheet that you can get in a tube like that. You know, you can make your own if you want and I salute you, but I don't wanna do that. You can get puff pastry rolls too, but this is short crust, okay? So what I've done is got it out like this and done it into like a centimeter wide strip just over and then halved it, okay? And we're gonna wrap those like bands of pastry over the apple. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I was like, yeah, I wanna try that, but with a toffee kick. So uh, let's get all these strips ready and we can start to fill our apples, strip them, cook them, eat them. I'll get stickers off my face, yeah. Okay, let's grab an apple and cram it with our filling. Oh, hang on, what's that? Let's get that bit off. There you go, sorry about that. We'll uh, cram it with the filling now. Okay, so what I've got here is a spoonful of the mixture. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. I'm just gonna plonk that straight in and that apple there, you didn't see that bit. I'm just gonna plonk that in straight like that. Fill it up as much as I can. The toffee sauce is all over those apples. Push it down as much as you can, my friends. You're gonna have loads of apple left and the rest you could probably make a massive apple pie out of, but just cram it in there, all the way in, that's it. Okay, beautiful, that is crammed in there. We're gonna get our pastry layer on top right now. This is looking all right so far. I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, so it's completely up to you how you do your pastry. You can just put a massive sheet over it if you want, but I'm gonna get these bands Put one, just press it a little bit lightly against the skin there, put it straight over like that. And what I'll do is some the other way to make a basket weave. So uh, let's try and do this, yeah. Alrighty, that's my first one done. I'm gonna get the others done right around about here. Let's go. Okay, so I got one more left to do and I've realized that I haven't actually shown you how to do this. So let's, uh, this is quite important actually, let me show you. Okay, so first of all, put your strips all in one long line, kind of like they're all facing the same way, yeah. Okay, so here's how you do it. It looks a little scruffy at the minute, it's all one strip, but don't worry, we can trim this. I'm gonna turn mine on my side, it's completely up to you. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. What I'm gonna do is miss one, then hit one. So pull back your second strip, miss one, then hit one. Pull back your fourth strip, pull them back as much as you can, and then get another strip. Oh, that one's fallen off, don't worry about it. We can just slot that on the top like this, and I can actually just droop this one straight back over, actually thinking about it. And then this one goes straight back over the top. So the two that you hit, miss them, and hit, the other three, pull them back, and then you just add another strip along there. Okay, there's another strip like that. So that sits in there. Pull them back over, one, two, three. And then your two that you originally hit, pull them back, one, two. Another strip in there. Keep alternating it all the way through. Let me trim it up. That's basically how you do it, yeah. So final strip, and then that goes over like that. I just thought I'd show you that. And all I've got to do now is trim around the excess bits, and that's the weave all done. All right, makes sense? Cool. Okay, so my apples are done and I plonked them into this nice little tin with some water just to bath it so it's not gonna destroy the bottom of it when it goes in the oven. What I'm gonna put is some tin foil over the top, okay? It's gonna sort of steam it in there as well. Oh, it's gonna be good. I've got a little guest down here. Are you ready? Hello, mate. Hello, you're supposed to be asleep. Are you budgie, budgie, budgie? Are you smiling? You wanna say anything? No? Just in your chair, are you? Right, get your foil on your tray thing and then it's going in the oven. Okay, so I'm putting that in the oven now for the first 20 minutes. That is gonna steam it. If you're a little bit rushed, you should stew the apples and then just put it in there for 20 minutes without the foil, because then the pastry will just cook. Because that is gonna cook all that inside of the apple just to make it nice and soft. Then we'll take that foil off and cook it again. So we've got some time to kill. Chloe's gone now. She's gone back to sleep already. Can you believe that? So what I've got here is a teaspoon of cinnamon. Teaspoon of cinnamon challenge. Let's go. Okay, I will not be doing this teaspoon of cinnamon challenge ever again, but I have done it before and it did succeed. So that surprised me and it did put me off cinnamon for life. So hopefully I'll still like these apple pies. So let's say I'll see you in 20 minutes when we rip off that foil and then start to work on our pastry. Oh yeah.
See you then. Okay, that has been 20 minutes. So I've got to say, my oven is preheated to gas mark 5, by the way, um, or equivalent, which I will put down the bottom now. I've just got it out, and I do not really want to touch this foil. <laughs> yeah, that is warm. So we're going to peel off this foil now to reveal that pastriness, and then uh, put it back in the oven to crisp it all up. A little bit of brown sugar on that pastry should uh, give it a nice kick. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You can see the steam rising up, and that I've dusted some brown sugar on there already just a little bit not too much just on the top there and it's going to go straight back in the oven now good times okay i've taken them out of the oven it took a little longer it was just the pastry it was being annoying it didn't want to brown for me but here we are we are done boom check that out oh my goodness it smells in here like apple pie i'm gonna serve this up with some custard and we'll see what it tastes like right yeah Okay, folks, let's uh, try and plate this up. I've got this boaty dish kind of thing here. I'm going to get some pre-made custard and just dribble that in there. Um, you don't have to have custard. It's up to you. So uh, let's just boil that in. Okay, so I've got my apple here. It's red hot. Ideally, you want to cool it down. Holy sh**, it's hot. <laughs> so I'm just sitting that in there. Wow. Okay, I took a big slice out of it. And I just got to show you this. Check this out. Boom! You're going in, you're going in. Oh, yeah, my shadow's in the way. But look, you're right in there with the apple. Can you smell that? That smells good. That is the desire of cooking, my friends. Let's see what it tastes like, and then you can have a go for yourself, yeah? Okay then, folks, I'm digging right into this now. I am so excited about that. I know it's kind of sad, but it smells so good. And I just love baked apples, which is basically what this is, with a little twist. So, uh, still hot. Um. Mm. Oh my God, spank my bum and call me Barry. That is good. I didn't get any of the pastry. Let's have a little bit of that as well. Mm. That is perfect. Your flavour is not too intense. There's not too much toffee in there, but you can tell us there. The cinnamon, again, not too much of that as well, which I'm happy about after doing that little teaspoon thing, but you can mix it up and change it how you want. Maybe do some nutmeg in there. You know, try it with a pear instead. Some crazy stuff like that. Have a go. Send me pictures and all that stuff. So if I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. Stickers on your face optional. I'll see you again next time. Cheers for watching. I love you lots.